So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I got some really awesome action figure news for you guys and let's get into it right away. Starting it off with Marvel Legends, these pictures were taken at Toy Fair. This is the new Civil War wave, and here is the Iron Man Mark 46 that I have showed you guys before. And Nick Fury is going to be in this wave, so I guess that is confirmed from my last action figure news video. And then here's another look at the Black Panther figure. These are the only pictures that I've found online so far. So moving on to the next here... And this is for all the Mattel fans who like the Batman vs. Superman line. Here is the new Aquaman figure that will be in the next wave. And they did capture the likeness of Jason Momoa pretty good on this figure, actually. But that's all they showed so far, so let's continue on to the next. And just want to show this really quickly. This is the SH Figure Arts New Hope Luke Skywalker figure. Really cannot wait to get this. Still no release date, but once I find out, I will let you guys know. But anyway, let's move on to some more figure arts. And this right here is really awesome. They're showing their Marvel line. On the left is the Avengers, and in the middle is the Civil War figures. On the top, in the middle, on the top left, that's Captain America. On the right, that's Iron Man. The bottom left, that's Ant-Man. And then on the right, that's Black Panther. Sorry for this blurry picture, but I'm trying to show you guys. So we are definitely getting Ant-Man and Black Panther, which is awesome. I'm curious as to who else we're going to be getting. Probably... All the members from Iron Man's team and Captain America's team. So very excited about this. Just wanted to show you guys that. And now Mezco is really bringing it. Here is their 1 12th scale figures. This is from Batman vs. Superman. And that's Superman, of course. And then here is the Batman vs. Superman Batman. I'm going to be passing on these because I'm getting the Mafex versions of them. And then here is, I'm pretty sure this is the comic book version of Superman, which looks pretty cool. I know a lot of people love these Mezco figures because they, they have real cloth clothing. And then here's a Flash figure, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, and then here is Reverse Flash, his enemy. So if you guys love DC, you love the Mezco line, you're definitely going to want to add these to your collection. And then here is the Shazam figure. I know they can be quite expensive, though. And then this is the one that I think looks best. Here is the Green Arrow figure. I think this thing just looks dope. I love all the straps around right there. Just really amazing looking figure. I'm definitely going to have to add this one to my collection. But anyway, let's keep moving on. So now Mezco is moving into Marvel characters, which is a really smart idea. This Captain America, there's two different versions. This one with the light blue costume, he's, he's releasing in July. And then there is another one with a dark blue costume. It does look pretty cool. I really like the way the gloves and the boots look. And then here's the darker blue one. This one is releasing in June. But I think I like this one a little bit better. I'm going to be passing on both of them because I just want to get the SH Figure Arts Captain America. But Mezco is really doing a nice job with these figures. And it's really cool that they now moved into Marvel and they're not just doing DC characters in Dread. So uh, pretty cool we're getting these. And then we're also getting the Punisher. This thing looks amazing. And we are getting two different versions. We're getting this one right here with pretty much an all-black costume. I mean, the figure looks awesome. The face sculpts look great. You get some pretty cool weapons. I love the way the utility belt looks. So we're getting this version, and then we are also getting this one right here, a more beaten up Frank Castle. Uh, he has a little more white in his costume, like on the gloves and the boots, the utility belt and stuff. We get some more weapons with him. Uh, don't know the release date of either of them. I'm guessing between August through October, so... Once I find out more, I will let you guys know, but I think I'm going to have to pick up this Punisher for my collection. And then we are also getting the first appearance, Daredevil. This thing does look pretty cool. This is my least favorite version of him, so I'm definitely going to be passing on this. We are getting a total of three different versions of Daredevil. This is one of them, and it is going to be releasing in November. So very cool that they are finally giving us some good Daredevil figures. We're also getting the classic red costume Daredevil, which is my personal favorite, and I really need to own this in my collection. This thing looks incredible. Like, holy crap. I love what they did with this piece. I like how the batons have bendy wire in between them. I love the way the belt looks with the uh, holster for the batons, and this is releasing in November as well, so I cannot wait to get this then. And last but not least, we are also getting the black and red costume Daredevil. And this thing just looks incredible. Like, holy crap, Mezco. This is releasing in November as well, just like all the other Daredevil figures. And this is another one I have to get. I have to get this one and the red costume one. I'm just very happy we are finally getting some really good 6-inch scale Daredevil figures. 
But anyway, guys, that is my action figure news video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and favorite the video, too. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.